Now that we've created our TPS query for cover surfaces, what we can do is go in and call that query for the cover using two AI entities and then a couple blocks so we can see dynamically how exactly the reference points are drawn along the cover surface for the AI to dynamically position itself to engage the target the best. So to begin, what we're going to do is go in and activate some console variables before we do anything. We'll do AI underscore debug tactical. We want to choose both of these, but for the first one, we can do that one. We're going to do AI underscore debug tactical blocked. And then the last one we want to do is AI underscore tactical points debug time. And let's set that to 60 so they stay on longer. The next thing I want to do is go into my create object. And we're going to create an AI navigation area first. Let's make sure snapping is turned on. If not, press the O key. We can then go ahead and draw out our navigation area by double clicking to end it. And now what we want to do is add some designer blocks. So we've got a designer object there. Pressing the 3 key, I can go into scaling it. And let's do this a couple times because we just want to create a simple wall that our AI can basically peer through and then hide behind. So if I go back, we'll go into AI and do cover surface. And we'll add that. And then let's turn it just a little bit on the Z. And you can see it's kind of drawn it out a little bit there. Let's press Control D and we'll duplicate it to the next. So now we have two blocks with cover surfaces. And the one thing that we need to do now is we need to create the AI characters. So if we go back to AI entity and inside of AI human, we can add this guy. We're going to go ahead and add another guy and we will turn him around. We're going to change a couple things on here. We're going to change him to the player faction. And we're going to remove his rifle and put it to empty. This way he can't shoot. This guy right here, we're going to come in and we are going to change his modular behavior tree. Now I've renamed it to BT underscore 5 underscore 003. And we'll change that. And in this, it should call the tactile point sequence query or system query that looks for the cover in front of them. So if I draw it out, these red dots are actually the query. So it should be able to do that basically on attention new target, which has got two dots there that it draw, just was drawing out. And basically it would do it for every single time that it saw a new person. So over that, it's just querying out and looking for it. Pretty simple stuff. And just as I said before, it's just looking for reference points. And that is a basic understanding of how the, console, or the cover surface tactical point system query works from the beginning where you actually define it to the point where you have the behavior tree and call it to the point where it's actually drawn on the map and your AI character is sitting there trying to figure out the best way to engage the target when he has a new target in his sights.